Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. If you case you, I don't know whether you'll notice Halloween earrings or not. I happen to be filming this on October 31st. You will probably not see this in on October. So just in case my hair flops around and you think, why does she have Halloween earrings on in November? Anyway, I am here to show you my bookcase club unboxing. I am really glad I found them. I've been really trying to be more intentional about the boxes I get and um, things. I hate to use the word need because it's not a need, but more things I can use and I don't have excess of. And so I love reading and I was wanting to get into some different types of books. This is one of the cheapest ones I could find. Uh, some of them come with a lot of fun you know, extras, and I didn't need the extras. So these are two hardback books for $9.99 a month, $4.99 shipping. So it comes out to be $14.99, at least for me. Um, easy to skip. Like I just, this is my October box. I just skip November. I don't need it um, every month. They have kids. Um, at the very end of the video, I will put in a clip of the website, and it shows the different categories. They have like teenage dreams. They have romance, which is what I have. They have fiction. Uh, something like, I forget what the title is, Strange Things or something. Anyway, um, I will, like I said, I will show you the clip of the website at the end. But very nice, really nice packaging. I kind of already um, peaked, so the tissues um, messed up, but that's because of me, not because of them. So very nicely packaged. I mean, it's really cra crazy that it's $14.99. So these are the two books. Um, they are very large hardbacks. Um, the plus size of that is it's a large hardback, a hardback, so very nice quality. Um, I, you know, maybe in denial about needing reading glasses, so it is nice to have a larger, bigger print. The downside to these huge books is that, like, if you were traveling, you know, this would take up lots of real estate in your backpack. But again, I'm very happy to have hardback. I can't believe these are fifteen nine or basically fifteen dollars a month. And also, I've never, um, believe it or not, I don't think I've ever read a Daniel Steele or a Debbie McComer book. Now, of course, these are sort of like more commercial authors that you would see at Walmart, Target, any bookstore. So big names I've heard of before, but I don't think I've read them. Maybe I've read one of Debbie McComer's. But anyway, this is called Cottage by the Sea. Um, and it says a seaside town and it's a collected community. Help a young woman um, reclaim the light after darkness in a brand new novel. Um, it says New York Times bestseller. Um, anyway, it's a romance. So I am excited about this. Um, and again, I mean, I just, the price is outstanding. And then this is Daniel Steele. I'm almost positive I have not read a Daniel Steele. So I don't know anything about them. This is called T Turning Point. Given the picture, that looks like France to me, but I could be wrong. Um, or Paris, I really should say. Um, this is four trauma doctors, um, the best selling and brightest in their field, confronting exciting new challenges. Um, I don't think there's a trauma unit in San Francisco. And, um, I, you know, it's funny how I feel like I, I know I could when I went to film the little clip on the computer that. I'm set for romance, but I'm not quite sure the description of these actually transitions to romance. So this is all about some guy at the medical center. He refuses to let anybody get too close, so I guess it probably is a romance. So anyway, I really like romance, but I'm kind of tired of the typical book. So I usually buy a box on eBay of just sort of historical romance, generally on the lighter side as far as like the physical stuff goes. But those books, as much as I love them, I feel like have 10 of the same story. And all they do is change the names, change the setting, and it's the same sort of trope over and over again. So I'm looking to kind of find a new way to get different, newer books. And so like this is a medical setting in different cities. It talks about San Francisco, London. I swear, though, that this is Paris, but I could be crazy. Um... So I'm excited. I don't necessarily usually read medical dramas of any kind. So I'm excited about this one. And then, and then this one, again, you know, it's a different setting. Both of these are modern. Clearly, they're not historical. Um, but, you know, I like that it's different. Uh, this is a heartwarming tale. So I'm excited to try new books. And I feel like for the price, I can't beat it. Like I said, I'm really thinking about signing up my daughter uh, for the kids one. They have different age brackets, and they get three books for $9.99 plus the shipping. 
So anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. If you guys have like tips or, or tricks on where you guys find sort of books to read on the cheap, um, I would love to hear it because I feel like I need to branch out a little bit. Um, I know somebody had mentioned on some, a couple people had commented on my last one I did in August about reviewing the books. Those books were sort of a miss. I think I only ended up reading one and I should save it, I guess, and do a review. Maybe I will do that for these. Um, but I had gotten four books back in August. Two of the Teenage uh, Dream, I thought were, I would like that category, but the two happened to be really not my jam. One was sort of like, I don't know, like on the other side of the, like the other world, or I don't know, kind of like about death. And it just seemed depressing. And I've lost a lot of people in my life, so it just didn't really jam with me. So I ended up reading one of the books, which was a really nice book about Montana. And again, it was just a fiction out of my comfort zone. But it was nice to read something different. So I would love suggestions on where you guys get books that you try something new. Because um, I feel like I need to branch out. Um, but anyway, again, thank you so much for stopping. And I can't, I really think the price is awesome. And again, at the end, I will put the clips of the website. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. And thanks for watching. Hello, guys. Um, this is the screencast of Bookcase Club. They have a lot of great options and it's super easy. Like I just went on and skipped November. I don't want it every um, other, I don't want it every month. But anyway, if you click join, there are different categories. Teenage dreams, um, booking for love, surprise me fiction, strange worlds, and then thrill seeker. Right now I have mine for booking for love. You can go in and switch it around each time if you wanted. They also have a bookcase kids. Um, different age categories. The kids get three books for $9.99 plus um, $4.99 shipping. So I'm thinking about signing up my daughter. Uh, my daughter loves reading and we're always reading books. So anyway, I think this is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cheap, affordable service to get nice um, hardback books.